The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 20 Monday, the 24th of April. Dow uh, at 2 p.m. is up 24 at 32,833. It's remarkable how just one indicator can keep that strength going for a little while longer. Look at all these little doji candles. One, two, three, four, five, six so far. Today could change by the end of the day, but so far, look at that. Tiny little candles, very narrow trading range. That's also telling us that there could be some form of distribution here. Um, if, in fact, the Dow by um, within another few days is at 33,832, if it takes out the 33,500 is 500s as support, that's going to be a negative. The S&P right now has come back a little bit. It is up one at 4134. Also, look at this. That nine period moving average is keeping the price intact so far. So it's, it's, it's good action. All the other te technical indicators are starting to weaken some. But uh, a 4,088, 82, that's key, key area support this week. They can, both of these could easily test their recent highs because there's still some residual strength. QQQ is a little different in that it's gone sideways. It says that the trading range could be uh, even narrower. And that's at 315, I'd say 319 is kind of resistance and really has to hold 312. It goes to 311s. That's a bit of a problem. IWM is the Russell 2000, just going sideways. Now, gold, and that's the interest. Oh, I wanted to do gold and during Larry's server, but I didn't have a chance. Gold is just in a trading band as itself. It has come back and it keeps having a big green uh, a candle followed by a big red candle. Then they're small, but they're red, green, red, green, green. Friday was red, today he's green. Just watch uh, 19. 19, I'd say 65 is key support in the short term for for gold. The dollar's not very strong. It's, it's actually weak today. It's down 0.30. Now it's down 0.42. It's really not showing strength at all. And you've got crude oil. Oh, I didn't even go through that in Larry's show, which I, Larry's hour, I should I can't do his show. I did his hour. Uh, uh, crude oil is up 96 cents to 71.83. And bonds didn't have to look at bonds. Bonds are just in a trading band, a narrow band, so yields are just stuck. Stay tuned. Great program coming up. And of course, at, four, at three o'clock to four, Tom O'Brien wraps it up. I'll be back tomorrow. Check out my opening call. I've got a webinar coming up for subscribers Wednesday week. Hope to see you tomorrow for my show, Tiger Editions Hour at 10. The reality is that navigating